Hey there, this is Mr. Weaver, and this is Unit 2, Lesson 6 in our Ratios and Proportions Unit. And we're going to look at using equations to solve problems. After this lesson, you need to be able to find missing information in a proportional relationship using our constant of proportionality. And you need to be able to relate all parts of an equation, like y equals kx, to the situation that it represents. After this lesson, you'll know you're successful if you can use your constant of proportionality to find the missing information and relate all parts of the equations to the situation. First, let's look at using our constant of proportionality. So again, that's what we're multiplying by each time to relate our input and our output in our situation. So let's look at a word problem. In some places, glass bottles can be returned for money instead of being thrown in the garbage. The weight of 10 glass bottles is 1.95 kilograms. The glass in five bottles that are returned has a value of 50 cents. First, let's create our equations that we can use with our constant of proportionality so we can quickly multiply whatever our total of something is times that number and we'll get our other value. So in this situation, we have a couple different equations. The first one is between the number of bottles and the weight. So we know that 10 bottles is equal to 1.95 kilograms. So if I want to know what equation I can use for any number of bottles, first I'm going to figure out my constant of proportionality. So divide our output, which is our end, divided by our input, which is our start, 1.95 divided by 10, which comes out to be 0 0.195, 195,000. So to create my equation with B, I would take the number of bottles, multiply that by 0.195. My equation would be the weight is equal to 0.195 times B. If I want to create my other equation and figure out what B is equal to, I just need to use my reciprocal constant of proportionality. So B would be equal to 1 over 0.195 and then it's times w. So reciprocal constant proportionality. Now, we have one other piece of information. It says that five glass bottles returned has a value of 50 cents. So five bottles is equal to 50 cents. So if I want to know my constant proportionality again, divide 50 cents by five, that would mean each bottle is worth 10 cents. So I would take my number of bottles and multiply that by 10 cents. So my value V would be equal to 0.1 or 10 cents times B. Just like before, if I want to find out what B is equal to, I would do the reciprocal, so 1 over 1 tenth, and then multiply that by V. Now, I didn't do this in the previous one because it doesn't come out super nicely. It's easier just to leave it as a fraction, but one divided by one tenth does come out to 10. So B is equal to 10 times the value. So we can use that as our equation, B equals 10V. Now that we have our four equations, let's answer some problems. So, if a restaurant threw away 58.5 kilograms of glass in a month, how many bottles did it throw away? I got to figure out what equation I want to use. So, I'm going to look for what I am trying to relate. So, first, I want to know how many bottles did they throw away. So, that's telling me that I need to find something about B equals. So, the second equation there, I have B equals. And the last equation I have B equals. Now I gotta figure out which of those to use. So I need to figure out do I wanna use the one that's relating it to W or V? 
it tells me 58.5 kilograms, which is our weight. So I want to use the one that has the W. So I'm going to use B equals 1 over 0.195 times W. Now that I know what equation to use, I can plug in my weight. So I know in order to figure out my bottles, I just have to multiply the weight times 1 over 0.195. So take my constant of proportionality, multiply by my W, and I end up with 300. So in this proportional situation, they threw away 300 bottles, and I know this because they threw away 58.5 kilograms of glass. In the second question, how much money would they lose if they didn't return those bottles? So we're going to say they threw away 300 bottles. This time, how much money? That is our value. And we're still talking about bottles. So I need something that's relating money and bottles. So I have V and B or B and V. Well, I want to know how much money. So I need to figure out what V equals. So I'm going to use the third one. V equals 10 cents times B. Now, I know how many bottles this time. So B was equal to 300. Multiply that by 10 cents they would lose $30 by not returning those bottles. Now, I didn't put units on the two things here, but it is good habit to write units for your answers. So 300, we should have put 300 bottles. 30, we should have put $30. Two more questions here using our same information. So same four equations. Next, how much money would they earn if they returned 100.23 kilograms of bottles. So money is talking about V for value. 100.23 kilograms is talking about weight. But if you look at our four equations, there is not an equation that relates the weight and the value. Instead, we need to kind of go between by using the number of bottles. So I'm going to go from the weight to the bottles and then the bottles to the value. So I know that 100.23 kilograms is our weight. First, I'm going to relate our weight and I need to figure out how many bottles that is equal to. So I would use our second equation here, multiplying that by 1 over 0.195. That will give me the bottles, which is 514. Now that I know the bottles, I can use the third equation again. Okay, I know the bottles, I wanna figure out the value. So I would multiply it by 0 0.10, 10 cents. And my value is $51.40. In the fourth one, it's asking what equations can be used to relate the value to the weight. So instead of going through the bottles, what if we just wanted to go straight from weight to the value? The weight is 100.23 kilograms and the value is $51.40. I can pretend that the bottles is not even there. I can relate the weight to the value. So if I wanted to figure out the constant of proportionality going from weight to the value, I would just take the output, our weight, our value, and then divide that by our input, our weight. So 51.4 divided by 100.23 comes out to be 0 0.513. That's our constant of proportionality going from weight to value. Okay, so if I had W, I would multiply that by 0.513 and I would get my value. So one of my equations would be V equals 0.513 W. And then to get my other, I just need to take the reciprocal. So I would switch it around, 100.23 divided by 51.4, which equals 1.95, and my weight would be equal to 1.95 times the value.
or we could have just left it as w equals 1 over 0.513 v. Okay, just using the fact that they are reciprocals. Now, these don't look like they might be reciprocals, but they are. So, and those are our two equations that we can use to relate the value to the weight. So in the future, if we wanted to figure out how much this restaurant would earn based on how many kilograms of bottles they have, we know now that we can just take their weight, multiply that by 0.513, and it will tell you how much money they should earn. In this lesson, we learned about proportional relationships and using parts of it to figure out how to solve for pieces of problems. So we can use each part of the equation to help us figure stuff out. Now, usually they're in the form of y equals kx. However, we saw in the last problem, situations where we were talking about b for bottles or w for weight or v for value. Okay, just know one is the input, one is an output, while k is always our constant of proportionality. So another example could be figuring out a height of a mountain where it's given in feet. If we know that there's 5,280 feet in one mile, that would be our constant of proportionality. So feet would equal 5,280 times m, the number of miles. Once we know how many feet that is, we could put that in our equation and we can figure out our mileage. So Denali, our highest mountain in North America, is approximately 3.85 miles tall. Had we wanted to go backwards and it told us how many miles, we could have used our reciprocal equation and figured out how many feet that was. After this lesson, do you know how to use your constant of proportionality to find a missing information? And can you relate the parts of the equation to a situation? If not, go back and watch pieces of the video focusing on where the constant of proportionality is used and where each part of the equation relates to different pieces of the situation. And that's the end of lesson six and using equations to solve for missing information.